so don't think it is just a simple problem solving class okay all the concepts which has been covered they'll be used here okay so before starting this question i want to tell you some results regarding ncr okay you can add them also just wait okay see you can add these results first result is n c n minus r equals n c r first result excuse me sir okay. yes i'll say in the question it's a, if n c r no no it's n c 8 it's n c 8 okay oh okay sir okay sir Yeah, let me explain these properties, then you will be able to solve them very easily. Okay. So first property is that n c n minus r equals n c r. First, let me prove this. Okay. We start with LHS, and you are supposed to use the formula of n c r that you have studied in the previous class. So how we expand this? Factorial of the above one, factorial of the lower one. and then here comes the factorial of the difference of the two first we subtract these two we get r so their difference factorial similarly if we solve rhs then we write factorial of the above one then factorial of the lower one and then factorial of their difference so you will observe that both of them are same both the expressions are same they are giving same values that is why n c n minus r equals n c r so for example for example if i have 5 c 1 okay if i have 5 c 1 let me compare 5 c 1 with n c r okay that means in place of n we have 5 in place of r we have 1 then if we use this result then this should be equal to 5 c n minus r that means 5 minus 1 so this comes out to be 5 c 4 that means these values of 5 c 1 and 5 c 4 both are same where how i have done it i have substituted 5 in place of n and r in place of sorry 1 in place of r when you will put these values you will get 5 c 1 equals 5 c 4 if you want you can find their individual values by the formula 5 factorial 1 factorial difference factorial this value will come out to be 5 5 c 4 5 factorial 4 factorial difference factorial this will also come out to be 5 both are same so we need not to uh, find the values every time we have this property that n c n minus r equals n c r this is the first property now we have one more property here which says that if n c a equals n c b so generally what we do we compare okay just like suppose that we have a to the power x equal to a, a to the power y so we know that when we compare these two we get x equals y right so here we may th think that if nc is equal to ncb that means a should be equal to b which is true however there is one more condition which can be possible and that is a plus b equals n so whenever two ncrs are equal whenever two combinations are equal nc a is equal to ncb if they are written in this form then either these two number can be equal or their sum can be equal to n so like for example if i have 5c4 then definitely it will be equal to 5c4 compared with this form nc a is equal to ncb what are the two conditions either these two numbers will be same so anyone can tell exactly same is written on both the sides however here we can write it like this also 
why 5c4 equals 5c1 this is also true why this is equal because a plus b that is 4 plus 1 this is also equal to 5 so always remember whenever nc is equal to ncb we have two possibilities either a equals b or a plus b equals n. just remember these two simple properties yes, sir. yes so have we got one actually observe this see they are saying that nc let, let us compare this question with this result so we can say that in place of nca we have 5c4 in place of ncb we have 5c1 these two values are equal i have solved it here see here on the right side of the screen i have calculated both the values 5c1 and 5c4 both are coming equal to 5 right so they are equal i am not writing it on my own they are actually equal because both of them are having values 5 so can i say that 4 equals 1 here obviously no this is wrong then which result will be true here that will be a plus b equal to n what is a 4 what is b 1 4 plus 1 and that is 5 so that is why i'm saying whenever you get such a condition that two combinations are equal nc is equal to ncb they are written in this form either a will be equal to b or their sum will be equal to one only one of them will be holding true not both or is here okay let me tell you let me give you an example based on this property and that is our question first of all keep these two properties in mind if you want you can write them okay you are supposed to write them because i have already told you that you are supposed to make notes for this chapter okay you can't wait for pdfs and everything and yeah i already asked ma'am to uh, you know upload those videos on youtube i think they are present there and she was saying that she has uploaded all the videos on youtube some of you were saying that they are not there every video is there there may be problem with one or two videos because of some issues technical issues otherwise everything is there so here two results nc n minus r equals ncr remember this one and second is if nc is equal to ncb then a equals b or a plus b equals n these two results now let us see their application so this first question now you understand what is the meaning of second property see what is the question question is nc8 equals nc2 now if you think that nc is equal to ncb only when a is equal to b so that will be wrong here why because is 8 equal to 2? No. Then, how to solve this question? Let us solve it. Let me write it here again. If nc8 equals nc2, then find value of. See, sometimes students get confused. They say nc2, they are asking the value of nc2, but nc2 is equal to nc8. So, what exactly is value? Value means numerical value. And that value you will get when you will find the value of n. So you will write, you will write if nca equals n, sorry, nca is equal to ncb. This implies a equal to b or a plus b equals n. So since nc8 is equal to nc2, this implies 8 plus 2 is equal to n. Why? Because 8 cannot be equal to do this this condition will not be valid here right be valid because of that you will get the value of n is 10 and now your question will be solved by because now nc2 means 10c2 10c2 you can solve use the formula above factorial lower factorial difference factorial so if you write 10 factorial backwards so you'll write 10 into 9 and you can stop at 8 factorial this we have already discussed and 2 factorial you know it is 2 only 2 into 1 so you will get the answer 45 so in this way you are supposed to use this property so these two properties were also left so we have covered those also Till now, anyone having any problem?
so in this chapter there are more properties like this only sorry so total how many there this more property more is there right concepts are lot more but property this one third one third property is also there okay then from school exam point of view this chapter is over there is nothing left but when we talk about competitive exams then you have to study some more topics all right this is the third property okay, okay. this is important sir so, all right yes so you can use this results for school exams and all yes 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 everywhere in fact till now whatever we have studied they are strictly for your school exams only now whatever we'll be discussing after this class that is your competition okay so competition is a school plus extra and till now we have only covered a school topic all right so you can use anything whatever i have taught you you can use all of these things all right in fact you can find these results in your school textbooks they are written there all right next result this is important one we need to prove it first okay try to fit these things in your mind actually how i remember i have two combinations n is same in both the above number is same in uh, both okay n is there n is in the second top it is just uh, you know remembering something like that here it is r here it is r minus 1 so there is a gap of one i want to add these two what is the result the above number will increase by 1 in in place of n it will be n plus 1 and out of these two the greater number will appear that is r we have the proof also but ultimately you have to remember the result you have to use it i repeat we are adding two combinations n is same in both it will become n plus 1 and in the lower numbers there should be a gap of 1 like r and r minus 1 and in the final result r will appear the greater number remember it like this let me prove it and then we'll see the application so obviously we'll start with lhs it is changing into a single combination right so to change it in the single combination we need to expand them first ncr is n factorial r factorial difference factorial then we will expand this also n factorial r minus 1 factorial lower factorial and difference factorial see difference what is the difference n minus r plus 1 use the bracket here okay difference so it will come n minus r plus 1 factorial now we have to add these two see what we will do if you can take common from numerator and denominator do it so like from numerator i am taking n factorial common i have this 1 upon something here 1 upon something will be left out similarly so you basically uh, take the lower number common right so can anyone tell me what term you will be taking common from these two denominators in the first denominator it is n minus r factorial into r factorial second denominator consist of n minus r plus 1 factorial and r minus 1 factorial okay let me make it simple we have n minus r factorial here and we have n minus r plus 1 factorial here so what you can take common in from these two what is common in these two terms n minus r n yes, minus r or n minus r or n minus r factorial see what is n minus r plus 1 factorial n minus r plus 1 factorial means listen carefully n my i am writing it here n minus r plus 1 factorial can be rewritten as n minus r plus 1 into n minus r factorial that same thing just like 10 factorial can be written as 10 into 9 factorial like that so basically out of these two n minus r factorial is the smaller number so what will be left here one but we have r factorial also from r factorial and r minus 1 factorial what can be taken common that will be r minus 1 factorial now let us see what is remaining 
see i have taken n minus r factorial common but i have taken r minus 1 factorial common so what will be remaining here r in the second denominator n minus r factorial has been taken common so what will be writing here n minus r plus 1 and what will remain here 1 now this can be written as n factorial n minus r factorial r minus 1 factorial it is 1 by r it is 1 upon n minus r plus 1 let us take the lcm in the bracket let us add so this will be n minus r plus 1 this will be plus r here it will be r into n minus r plus 1 so this will be cancelled now next step you are getting the answer it is n factorial into n plus 1 is left here in the denominator it is n minus r factorial r minus 1 factorial into r into n minus r plus 1 and this is the answer why because what can be written in place of n factorial into n plus 1 i can write n plus 1 factorial what i can write here see if i multiply these two r minus 1 factorial into r will become r factorial and what i can write in place of these two if they get multiplied it will become n minus r plus 1 factorial and finally this is nothing but n plus 1 cr how you try to expand n plus 1 cr by the formula do it separately how you expand this thing what i have told you about n cr factorial of the above number upon factorial of the lower number upon factorial of the difference so what is this n plus 1 minus r or n minus r plus 1 both are same if i write Minus R in between, and I write one afterwards. How will it make difference? No difference here, right? So this will become n minus R plus one factorial, and this is what we have got after simplification. So ultimately, if we summarize, we have two combinations. Okay, I will use the formula of NCR and expand them. After that, I will take something common, whatever is coming common. Then I will take the LCM, and after taking LCM. and cancelling if anything is getting cancelled when i write the terms they are changing into factorial of n plus 1 factorial of r and factorial of n minus r plus 1 and this can be written as n plus 1 cr by the formula so ultimately we use this formula only above factorial lower factorial difference factorial okay it's just that in place of n and r we have some different alphabets every time but this concept will not change right this formula above factorial lower factorial difference factorial remember this okay with the help of this you can prove this result so i have told you the proof in detail i have explained everything and i told you how to remember the result also okay you have to add two combinations i am repeating one for the last time you have to add two combinations above number should be same in both when you will add them you will get a single combination number will increase by 1 in the above term it will become n plus 1 and in the lower numbers you can add only when there is a difference of 1 like r and r minus 1 there some will give a single combination and the higher number will be appearing lower term so it is easy to remember okay proof is also not that complicated it is simple do not count these steps just remember the concept so now let us see the question on this Okay. Let me write the complete question, and then only you note. Just wait. When I will say, then only you start solving it. All right. See if this is the question.
so basically we have to find the value of this expression okay this question is important for your school exam as well as any competition also because it is based on this property so basically three properties we have covered in till now and only these three properties you have to remember one is ncr equals ncn minus r first one then second one if nc is equal to ncb two cases are possible two possibilities are there either a equal to b or a plus b is equal to n third one ncr plus ncr minus 1 equals n plus 1 cr so this particular question is based on the last property let us see how to solve it. this question was asked in itj entrance long time back not now because now it has become very common so let us start you know this is sigma sigma means addition okay and it is contracted form of the expansion which i am going to write now first you will put j equals 0 when you will put j equals 0 it will become 52 c3 then this sign everybody is comfortable with it now it is sigma so sigma means addition then after j equal to 0 i will put j equal to 1 when i will put j equal to 1 it will become 51 c3 then we will put j equal to 2 you know it only reads whole numbers right j equal to 0 1 2 3 so we read it like this j equals 0 5 so what we read in place of j 0 1 2 3 4 5 and whatever terms you will be getting it will be adding all these so the next term will be 50 c3 then it will be 49 c3 then it will be 48 c3 and it will end at 47 c3 why because when you will put j equals 5 So 47 C3, it will be this expression. Now I want to reduce this. Listen very carefully. I am going to reduce it to a single term, and I won't be using their expansion. See, do not solve it like this. Like 47 C4 is 47 factorial upon 4 factorial, 43 factorial. No, you won't be able to solve it even within 30 minutes. So then, how to reduce it to a single term? If you have understood, any one of you have understood this property, can you tell me which two terms should I uh, add? What are those two terms which I should start adding first? So forty-seven C four, forty-seven C three four. Yes, forty-seven C four, and the last term is next term is forty-seven C three. Yes, good. Yes, good. So basically, we can't add these two. Why? Because we don't have any result for them. There is a gap of five in the above terms and gap of one here, so no property as such, right? So instead of this, let us do one thing. Let us write the last term here. Let us reverse these terms. Let us write them in the ascending order: forty-seven C three, forty-eight C three. So no change on the question, right? This will become fifty C three, fifty-one C three, fifty-two C three. We are just rearranging the terms, so no change. But now you will be able to use the property. See, for some it is like 47 C4 plus 47 C3, but for me it is NCR plus NCR minus one. That property. So if you understood the property, you can directly write 48 C4. N increases by one, it becomes N plus one, and of the two, higher number appears, and there is a gap of one also. Now you go on doing this thing, and finally you will be. getting a single term so this can be the best example for this particular property now we will add these two so it will become 49 c4 and same way you can go on proceeding if you want to show the steps you can show it and you will write the property in, uh, somewhere in, on the right side using the property ncr plus N, like that okay write the reason school exams this become 50 c4 so what will be the next value this will be 51 c4 right then it will become 52 c4 and finally the value will be 52 c sorry 53 c4 right 53 c4 that is the answer let me write it again 53 c4 this is the answer see how you have added them 
just by the property and if you will go on expanding and then you will take the lcm forget about it that you will be able to solve it so this is the way to do it okay so property is important question is also important this one and the same property has been used again and again so just remember this question okay Okay, now I will take some questions, four or five questions, okay? Because now, whatever we have studied only, questions will be based on that only. Just try to use the concepts that I have taught you. Let us start with this question. In how many ways can a team of three boys and three girls and try to understand the language okay pick the terms that are important to use the concept okay you will understand from the language only whether you have to do the arrangement or selection because if arrangement is to be done then concepts of permutation will be used like npr n to the power r or n factorial upon something like that if combination is to be used ncr their properties like that okay so in how many ways can a team of three boys and three girls be selected from five boys and four girls so this is the question try it and if anyone solves it let me know Okay, can anyone tell me that to solve this question, what concept you will be using? Let us start with the concept first. Okay, answer is different. Forget about the answer. What should be the formula used? NCR. Yes, good. So first of all, pick this term selected. Okay, you are selecting something. Selection means combination. And if you remember the formula, see every word is important. When I say NCR, okay, that means combination. Combination means selection. And what is selection? You are basically selecting R different objects out of N different objects. Okay, so obviously there are three boys, they are different, right? Three girls, they are different. But actually, you have to select them from five boys and four girls. So basically, you have to select three boys. You have five options. You have four girls. You want to select three girls. Okay. So three boys can be selected in. Can you tell me now how many ways can be selected in? How many ways? What you will write here? Three boys can be selected in how many ways? So five C three. Yes, five C three. Why? Because you have five options, five boys. You want to select three. Five C three. Simple. What is NCR? Selection of R different objects out of N different objects. It is that simple. Then three girls can be selected in. Similarly, now same concept will be used. Can be selected in. 4C3 ways. 4C3 ways. Therefore, number of ways in which 
three boys and four girls can uh, sorry three boys and three girls can be selected now what to do how many pairs are there so that we select three boys and three girls now what is the last step yes what to do how to use these values 5c3 4c3 so add them so add, add them add see i told you read the question carefully and pick the terms that will help you to write the answer what is this word the word is the word used is and what i told you about this word what you have to do i told you something related to this word when and is there what you do and when or is multiplication there? multiplication right see it is so easy selection means ncr and means multiplication where is the problem whenever you have to arrange you go for the concept of permutation when you have to select you look for combination then if or word is there then we add if and word is there we multiply where is the problem so this become 5c3 into 4c3 5c3 i am writing the values directly you use the formula 5c3 will come out to be 10 4c3 will come out to be 4 answer is 40 sorry <clears throat> now suppose you want to verify this suppose <clears throat> i have these five boys and i have these four girls you know actually you can't just go on counting the results because how many ways are there 40 so like suppose you select b1 b2 and b3 because you have to select three boys and you have to select three girls so out of these four see with these combination of boys the corresponding combination of girls can be you can select g1 g2 g3 one or you can select these three or you can select these three or you can select these three right so for this combination of boys there are corresponding four combination of girls then similarly you can select b2 b3 b4 then again there will be different combination of girls so like that so in such type of cases actual counting becomes very complicated that is why we are studying these formula all right so it becomes very easy you select the boys 5c3 ways select the girls 4c3 multiply them if the question would have been like this in how many ways can a team of three boys or three girls okay three boys or three girls be selected then in place of multiplication plus will be there because either you can select three boys or three girls then addition rule because if we make a team of boys or we make a team of uh, girls in that case it would have been independent of each other so i told you about the multiplication theorem and addition theorem and i also told you about the meaning of the word and and the meaning of the word or so look for these terms in the question they will help you to write the answer okay so the last one was by actual counting no yeah yeah that will that one will become actual counting you are not supposed to do it okay because see in that case you will get 40 cases you will get confused that what you have counted and what you have missed okay so we are not supposed to do this okay we are supposed to use the formula of ncr okay okay so see first of all you should uh, try to understand whether you have to do the arrangement or combination okay then you think about the formula 
like that okay let me give you one question in how many ways can five girls and three boys be seated in a row okay i have not finished the question but till now what do you think what is going to happen combination or permutation so permutation permutation because you are doing some seating arrangement so seating arrangement okay seated that is not combination that is arrangement and the complete question is so that this is linear permutation right seated in a row just like students sit in the class so that no two boys are together so obviously eight places are there i mean eight places are not there eight persons are there right five girls three boys and no two boys are together see in previous class also we solved some questions no two s are together and like that okay but here what is given no two boys are together like suppose all of them are sitting on the ground like that okay people are sitting on the ground and you want that out of these three no two boys means no boys no two boys means there are total three so no two of them are sitting together that means all of them are sitting separated so the question is if these persons have to sit so whose arrangement will be done first whose arrangement will be done first 1 2 3 4 let us remove this you want that boys should not sit together so that is why remember first we will arrange the girls first we will arrange the girls and you are going to make them sit in a row okay so first we will arrange the girls can you tell me in how many ways it can be done can you now relate it to something that we have studied this can be done in how many ways yes anyone so 5 p5 good 5 p5 see you have n different objects and you want to arrange out of them r can vary from 0 to n if you remember r can be 0 it can be 1 2 3 4 up to n so here we want all the girls to sit so five different girls obviously and you want them to sit in a row so you are basically doing their linear permutation right this can be done is uh, done in npr ways that means 5p5 ways 5p5 is 5p5 using the formula above factorial difference factorial see remember npr is having different formula ncr is having different formula okay so 5p5 is above factorial above divided by difference factorial this will come out to be or well, let us keep it 5 factorial only for now zero factorial is one now suppose that they are sitting like this on these places i have not named anything because see if you write g1 g2 g3 g4 let's say these are the girls okay but this is just one particular order but actually in how many ways they can sit five factorial ways or 5p5 ways like in place of g1 g2 can be sitting g1 can be in the place of g2 similarly g4 can come in place of g3 and likewise there are totally 5p5 ways in which they can be interchanged among themselves this we have already studied so now we have arranged the girls now you want boys to sit with the restriction that no two boys are together who can tell me that what are the number of ways to arrange these boys now three boys can be arranged in can be arranged in ways 
so that they are separated or no two of them is no two boys or simply all of them are separated okay no two are together can you tell me how many ways will be there if you can tell me this you have understood permutation okay tell me one thing tell me one simple thing how many different places can they there are how many different places where they can sit first you tell me this how many different options are there three three places can you tell me where are these three places where they can sit so between two girls so you want to tell me these places right so yeah, any of the of this so tell me how many places are there where uh, how many places are available for those three boys first you tell me that the four places four places like this by shown by arrows yeah. so yeah so six places six even the extreme so six yes, no even the, yes right even the extreme see that is why this discussion is good till i won't i won't be able to understand that what are the things you are not getting if i write simply the answer it won't help you but now you have told me correctly that these two places can also be considered so basically these six arrows are those six places where actually the boys can sit because in that way they will be separated right so i have this option i can write it like this who can explain me this thing 6 into 5 into 4 ways how i have written this value see let me explain after the girls have been arranged let us pick the first boy or let us pick any random boy and i ask him to sit then he has these six places to sit he can select any of these six places okay and he can sit there now the next boy next boy will have only five options because one place of uh, shown by one arrow will be blocked and the five places will be remaining he can select any one and he can sit there and for the last one obviously four options will be there so that will be 6 into 5 into 4 and the same thing can be written like this also 6p3 why Why six p three? Who can explain six p three? Who can explain me this six p three? So six places and three boys. So six places are there. Six different places are there. Now try to understand. Six different places are there. We are supposed to. make the boys sit there right so boys can be arranged in these places so six different places we have to arrange the boys in three places only 6p3 like that or otherwise how you can explain because 6p3 you know what it will be it will come out to be same formula is above factorial difference factorial this will give you 6 into 5 into 4 only or what you can say the first boy can sit at any of the six places after that second boy can sit at any of the five places and third one at any of the four places so this is kind of arrangement only so either you write 6p3 or you write 6 into 5 into 4 whatever is comfortable for you now therefore number of ways in which they can sit number of ways in which they can sit in a row now what to do you have these values six, five factorials there 6p3 is there what you are supposed to do now in which they can sit i have not written the whole sentence i just want the answer now what do you think what should i do here girls can be arranged in five factorial ways or five p five ways boys can be arranged in six p three ways what to do so multiply yes obviously multiplication right because boys and girls boys and girls they are supposed to sit so five p five into six p three whatever is the answer okay we are not interested in this calculation this 
and be done by any end. Overall, it will be 120 into 6 into 5 into 4. You can leave it. So this is the way. See, you won't find many questions in your school textbook, right? In fact, I told you to attempt NCERT. Okay, just do that. That will be sufficient. If you don't have it, no need to buy it. I asked you to download this chapter from. You type anything, you know everything. How to download this? Okay, and just solve those questions from there, and we'll be discussing it. That will be very helpful. Because if you want to understand the next topics. you need to be comfortable first these fundamental topics all right otherwise things will become complicated just wait Okay, let us solve this question. First, understand the question. Okay, then only you solve it. We'll be solving these two questions. Okay, this one and the next one, and I think that will be it for today. And solve the question from NCERT seven chapter. in the next class i will do the discussion first okay you should have that pdf with you i will ask questions from send point 1 any doubt send point 2 any doubt like that okay you should have it please download find the rank of the word sachin if dictionary is made by the alphabets of the word by the alphabets of this word with no alphabet repeated so different kind of dictionary first of all very limited alphabets are there in this dictionary and those alphabets are the alphabets of this word secondly the dictionary that we are going to make it will have words which may or may not have the meaning that is important okay but we are supposed to use only these alphabets let us write them in the chronological order so a comes first then c then h i forgot a b c d then what i think this will be it right so these are the alphabets you are supposed to make a dictionary with these alphabets you cannot repeat any alphabet you cannot use a two times or three times like that okay and on the basis of this if you make a dictionary what will be the number or the rank of the word such it obviously like first word of the dictionary will be this number this word itself first word is i think this will be the word right dictionary will start from here this is the first word so in that sense what is the rank of this word that you have to tell no alphabet is repeated okay so can anyone tell me how to start this question obviously i am not going to actually make a dictionary and tell you that this is the number how to start with and what exactly is involved in this combination or permutation so permutation permutation obviously so what do you, you mean by uh, rank of the word rank means just like i told you this is the first word of the dictionary so rank is first first rank similarly you will change something you will get the second word that will be the second rank so like that what is the rank of this word okay or the position of the word that simple okay position number wise okay okay sir yes so you said permutation will be done here and that is absolutely correct because these alphabets will be changing their positions okay and based on that there will be a random word sachin which will appear in that dictionary so what will be its position so obviously 
dictionary will start with a so words which start with a now listen carefully words which start with a now since i have already blocked the first position i have already blocked the first position why because words are starting with a that means what are the options left now which are supposed to be filled here five so you have five different words you are supposed to arrange them here you can arrange them in 5p 5 ways that means 120 ways why not six factorial why only five factorial because i am already finding the words which start with a because dictionary will start with a then b then c like that okay so a is blocked that is at the first position and the remaining five can be arranged in 5p 5 ways so 120 words will be those words which will be starting with a but we have to find the rank of the word sachin that will start with s so now words which start with c why because once you have written all the words starting with a so now the dictionary will start with c because there is no b here because i have to use the alphabets of this word only right so words which start with c so now c is blocked there are five gaps and now the alphabets available are a h i i n s right so similar situation like the previous case 5 p 5 120 so till now you have written 240 words in this dictionary half of them are starting with a half of them are starting with c so now the words will start with h so down this is similar situation h will be blocked and a c i n s will be available and once again it will be 5 p 5 120 then you have to start with i just repeat it okay nothing new 5 p 5 120 so till now four eighty words now words so this is like repetition okay words is starting with n how many 5 p 5 120 till now you have made 600 words in this dictionary now actually you have to find words starting with s do not write 120 120 is okay words starting with s 120 is okay fine but do not write 120 why because you have to find the rank of the word sachin now you tell me that means it will be coming from these terms only sachin will be present in this uh, arrangement only right so what is rank and till now how many you have completed you have already completed 600 words so 120 are remaining in those 120 that is from 601 to 720 what is the position of this word can anyone tell me till now you have understood i hope you might have understood what is the question can you tell me how to find the rank of the words such in now so if we are starting from s what should i think next after s what so a right because see if word is starting from s and i have to find the rank of the word such in so now i have to look for other options so now he says i have to find those words which are starting from s a only right whenever you see a dictionary there are lot of words with alphabet a but how they change first you will uh, you will see they will be using the words like a a then a b then a c a d like that okay so s a but in such an s a only comes then what next what you will see after this if s and a both are coming in the word such an then obviously you go for c right but c h i yes but what do you see that in such in these three words are coming in same order then you will look for next alphabet so what are remaining h i n n so if you see s a c h this is the same order in which dictionary is starting and it is the same order in which 
these word alphabets are appearing in the word search so what will be the next word only two options are left i n and n i so what will come first i only what will happen at the last what is the meaning of this discussion what is the meaning of this discussion words is starting with s you wrote s a first but you did not do the permutation you did not do the permutation here you did not do the permutation here what is exactly happening what is the meaning of this discussion word is starting with a where you find uh, word is starting with s where you find this word such in in this dictionary it is available so then it is available at the 601st position only why because see what were these words these words were starting with a c h i n i never did such type of discussion why because i was not interested that what will be the words formed in this because i have to consider the word such in so i have to come till the words are starting with s now i was looking for other terms second one third one fourth one but what happened they are coming in the same order as they are present in the word such in in simple language after s after s all these alphabets are coming in their chronological order s is blocked then a should come then a b c d like c will be coming then h is coming then i is coming then n is coming so this particular word is the first word which will be starting from the alphabet s so after 600 the first alphabet will be first word will be such in and that is why its rank is 601 this is the concept is it clear anyone having any doubt in this anyone having any doubt so can i explain this again okay let me do one thing wait a minute let me do one thing let us take a similar question okay that will give you a better understanding because repeating on same question won't help same question okay the word is i am just writing repeat the above question above question means that rank and everything same concept is there repeat the question for the word again for the word again and find 50th word in this dictionary in this dictionary see whenever a word is given and they want you to make a dictionary you have to use only and only those alphabets which are present in the question do not use your own alphabets like b c d they are not appearing here do not use one more thing a is coming two times so that means you will use a two times here g one time i one time and one time all right based on this now you have to find the 50th word which will be formed in this dictionary first of all write all the alphabets in the chronological order so a a then what will come g i and okay you have to reach till 50 start counting how words starting with a starting with a that means now do not say first a second a i have told you everything they are identical words are starting with a so like one a is used here so how many places are present four why because now you have four alphabets here do not count five you are counting words starting with a so one a is blocked and these four are remaining four different places four different alphabets you have to arrange them how many ways 4 p 4 right 4 p 4 means 4 factorial upon 0 factorial this will give you 24 you have to find 50th word okay now do not say sir word is starting with second day i hope you are getting it okay there is no second day you have already counted words are starting with a in this all those terms will be coming where you will get a two times like if i write it like this a a g i n then this is your actually first word of this dictionary 
then a g a i n this will also be some word i don't know whatever it is then a a g n i like that okay so all of them are present in these 24 words so what to do next words starting with words are starting with g because after a g will be appearing right so now you have four places and the four options are a a i n now this is important who can tell me how they can be filled here tell me there are four alphabets and there are these four places tell me their permutations any one of you g is blocked a a i n is remaining are uh, remaining tell me how to arrange these four alphabets here quickly it is something that i have told you will you use npr will you be using 4p4 so you have to use that formula of similar kind yes good so what should i write in the numerator so n factorial that is 4 factorial because n is 4 here you are you are having four objects and what about denominator 2 factorial 2 factorial very good see this is the thing in the previous question i was using sorry previous uh, this counting i was using npr why because these are different but now i am using different formula why because these two are same do not use npr here okay so this will give you 12 so till now you have written 36 words but you have to write 50th word okay then a is completed g is completed now i words starting with i starting with i so i will be blocked again four places are left and now the words available are alphabets available are a a g n so similar kind of uh, step like the previous one four factorial by two factorial again it will be 12 okay very close you have written 48 words now 50th is easy because words starting with n so the second word which will be starting with n that will be your answer because see you have covered 48 and you are supposed to write the 50th word of this dictionary so you will simply write it what is the problem word starting with n so what will be the first word of uh, first word is starting with n 49th word is can anyone tell me 49th word is because then you will write 50th starting with n what it will be tell me quickly so n a a g i very good n a g i why because after n what will be the next deciding alphabet which comes first in the english alphabet that will be a so a then next that will also be a then g then i but this is the 49th word and it is the first word which is starting with n 50th word will be that is that will be our answer okay and don't yeah one so, more thing yeah please first you tell me so n a a i g that is the answer correct this is the answer why do not change anything between a a just change these positions of g and i this will be the 50th word because dictionary will continue with n a a and g comes first before i so next term will be the interchanging of these two positions okay do not change anything here that will be some later uh, uh, word okay but you are supposed to write only the 50th one it is just a simple chronology that we follow in writing a dictionary okay and why you are able to find the rank in everything here because here the scope is very limited few alphabets you arrange them in random order and you find the rank that's it and you use only those alphabets which are present in the word that's only you do so this is the 50th word i hope you might have understood and don't try to read these words okay because they sound funny and they don't have any meaning so here we do not require any meaning or anything like that okay just the random permutation so i hope with this example now things are clear now anyone having any doubt regarding this rank question now see the important part is practice all the four exercises all the four exercises please do them now i think the class will be on saturday and you have a lot of time please do these questions and when you come for the next class you should have tried every question properly okay
next class will be discussion and time allows we'll continue further okay thank you so much excuse me sir yes so can you repeat the exercises see in ncert it is 7.1 7.2 7.3 7.4 these four exercises there is miscellaneous exercise also but first you solve these four exercises all right okay sir all right you will see the chapter i think it is seven chapter only if the, there is a change in the chapter number you will find it you just type permutation combination and ncert pdf you will get it okay and solve these four exercises there only four exercises there next there is miscellaneous that we will try later on but please do it it is important okay this chapter is very important i am repeating again and again it is not like trigonometry you learn the formula you do the question no all right thank you so so, so the okay, previous so time i just want to take a screenshot yes which question so the previous one i'll just take a screenshot of that one this one so, so can you explain me the fourth term again wait a bit one at a time So yeah, the seventh one. So you scrolled up to that sum. Okay. Okay, you're done, sir. Thank you. All right. Yes. Someone was asking anything? Yes. So is the fifth five girls then three boys that sum? Five girls. Yes. This one, no? Yes, sir. You want to take the screenshot or what? So no. So can you explain me it again? See, I told you first of all. You will arrange the girls because you want that no two boys should sit together. Okay, so five girls. If you want to arrange them in a line, so it is like arranging our different objects out of n, n different objects, and the formula is n p, right? So five different girls. You have to arrange them all. So you can do it in five p five ways. That I have done here. Five p five is five factorial. Now, because these five girls are sitting, and basically you want that no two boys. should sit together so obviously there should be gap between the boys so where they can sit they can sit here or here or here or this place or this place or this place so how many such places are available where they can sit and they may be sitting separately they are six places here okay six places here and out of these six you have to arrange only three why because boys will be occupying only three places right so out of six available what can you do you can make the first boy sit at any of the six places then the next one can sit at any of the five places last one can be sit at can sit at any of the four places so in how many ways all three of them can sit 6 into 5 into 4 multiplication theorem or what else you can use six places are available all right three boys are supposed to sit here they can be rearranged in 6p3 ways npr ways so 6p3 will also give you the same value multiply both of them both these results by because you want both boys and girls to sit so n2 will be coming and that will give you this answer is it clear okay sir thank you sir all right Thank you.